There is already a lot of energy in the studio this morning. I don't know, maybe it's the coffee? Or maybe it is my Hot Topics panel. Joining me today are my good friend and former co-anchor, Natasha Ryan, King 5 traffic anchor, Shantae Sumter, and producer, Rebecca. Hello. I am so excited about this panel. Uh, <laughs> Y'all better not behave. I like fear that you, like you came behaved today. I don't ever behave. I know. I just <laughs> I want you to let it all out here in Hot Topics. Um, so I wasn't kidding about these two being follow files. Yeah. This one even has Guilty. pumpkin spice earrings. I was earrings. gonna say the pumpkin it's not spice fall earrings. Until those come out. So. All right. Do you really? Oh yeah. 100%. Oh, I love it. Oh. That's amazing. <laughs> this one. And then this obviously helps. It does. Pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice latte. latte. Uh. When do you start decorating for fall? September 1st. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. It's, All right. It's, oh. ac it's actually Labor Day. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. wait. So I've got a new addition this year. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. You know the 12 foot skeletons? Yeah. Uh, no. I got one. No. Oh, oh, I did. Yes. So are, are you going to put that up on September 1st? Yes, I am. No, oh, you are. Okay. Yes, I am. How long are you going to keep it up? Is it a Christmas Santa Claus thing or? You know, so I've been debating this oh, because dear. they actually have costumes oh, that no, you can put on look. the skeleton. You can make it. Thanksgiving skeleton, oh, come on. Christmas skeleton. Uh -uh. So if I was your neighbor, <laughs> HOA, I'd like to report a crime. I'm not oh. sure of the rules, but <laughs> uh, I'm no thank you. You cannot do that. I will not allow it. Well, we'll see. I no, kind of, I love it for you. We'll see. Thank Great. you. Okay. Thank you, Rebecca. Well, here, have you tried your your pumpkin spice lattes? Delicious. Everyone, okay. tried. what did you I, get? I tried the, thank you. the apple chai. It's something new on the yeah. fall menu. Let's and see. rate it. Okay. Uh, you know it's, No, no, wait, 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 wait. I had to, you know, I had to let it percolate my palate. Okay. It's not, it actually just tastes like a chai tea. So it's, you get an, it's an ice, what did you know? I don't even drink coffee. What is all this thing? Ice so, gran, it's an iced grande <laughs> apple, <laughs> oat milk, NDCF no. chai. Okay. I got okay. the first three, the last, mm, this, mm, cha. So I just try new things with yeah. you all because I'm not a coffee girl, yeah. not at all. I know, but, but I, I do chai. It. So I was like, okay, I'll pick this one. But so it's not bad. It tastes like okay. chai tea. I don't taste the apple. Maybe Ooh. I needed a couple more pumps of I apple. See. I don't know. Okay. I got the grunt pumpkin cream cold brew. I love that one. Oh, I why do you tell me this is? That. You could have had it. Is no, so it's good. Okay. Try this. But yeah. like that is for a day Best when friends. it's not raining. Is there it's actual like, cream in it? Because I'm not allowed to have cream. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's in the it's, name. It's probably in there. Then <laughs> I thought the cream was oh, the foamy good. stuff. I, that's good. Don't look at me like that. I thought the cream was the foamy oh, stuff. Okay. <laughs> I like that one. Okay, I know so, it's good. On you second drink, I did taste the apple. I mean, they're PSL. PSL for life. Okay. Okay. Rebecca and I. All right, whatever. Okay, hey, listen, um, grab a cup of coffee if you're heading to the airport because SeaTac is apparently still recovering from a cyber attack over the weekend. I didn't even hear about this. I mean, I did. I watched King 5 News all the time. I did oh, hear about this. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> there were no massive flight delays or cancellations, but the baggage system was all a mess. So Alaska's like, hey, travelers, just, just take a carry-on because you could lose it. Don't, don't make it a problem. I mean, Ooh, at least they're being up front before you go up there that. and now you make it all the way to Mexico, something that happened to me, no oh. bags, but it was oh. not Alaska. No. It wasn't Alaska though. Oh. So it wasn't Alaska. Do you want to call? <laughs> I'm not going to say it unless they want to give me some free tickets and maybe I should, but no, it was a, it, it, there was, it was like an outage. Was this it was spirit? A few years ago. Did you fly <laughs> oh, no. over I don't want to hate on the spirit goers. <laughs> on the spirit are the front frontiers. I, I don't want to hate on them. I, I fly on all of them. Okay, I've flown Frontier. Yes, you and have. And I, I will say, we were in a crazy lightning storm once. Oh, I don't know exactly where you want to be. And I, <laughs> I got to give it to the pilot. I was like, Oh Lord, this is it. But you're here. And they sailed through, and I was like, I love you, Frontier. <laughs> so they saved my life. Okay, okay. so it's a mix. I'm could sorry. You, right. Could you imagine, though, like you're heading off to a, a fabulous vacation? You're mentally prepared of what you're going to bring, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, carry on only. You're not doing a carry on with a family. No. Like on a business no. trip, I only take a carry on because I usually go in and out as fast as I can mm -hmm. on the trips. But with a family, you're not taking yeah. a carry on. I'm the making kids my kids take carry ons. Right. No, even, no. even if you're two, roll your bed. <laughs> roll your <laughs> bag. We're all Start rolling. Them yes. Or, else, or sit on my suitcases. <laughs> no, I make my kids take carry ons. Oh, I do too. Yeah. But I can't fit everything for a summer vacation in a carry on. Well, I don't know. Maybe is, you can. With that oh, as your threat, like yeah, yeah well, you might, right. you might want to. Right. It's either carry on or none at did all. Did you? So. Did you? You just went on a one week cruise in Mexico. Yeah. What did you take? I mean, we had we did both. We did some carry on and then some. Well, but it didn't impact had us. A lot. 
Oh, I took a lot. It didn't happen until mm. the, the, okay. the back end of it, okay. and we were fine. All right, well, speaking of traveling with family, <laughs> <laughs> I was on the phone with this one when she took her two girls by herself to Hawaii for a vacation, and yeah. you were great. You had a great time, but is it really a vacation mm. sometimes when you're with family? Like, I know with kids, I took my kids away for four days. It was fun, but I wasn't relaxing. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay, break it down. <laughs> I'm a Disney nut. Anyone that ever watched us knows that. So this is the first year we didn't do a park because I was like, Mommy needs to put her feet in the sand okay. and take a vacation and take a breath. So I don't need a vacation for my vacation, right? Okay. Right. It was actually, yes, it was relaxing, but I find the biggest, because I traveled alone, so the, the biggest hiccup, right, is the bathroom schedule. So you'll get all nice and situated. <laughs> you get your chair by the pool, you order a drink, everyone's having fun, and then one of them will go, I have to potty. Yeah. And yeah. then everyone's got to <laughs> pick the valuables up, go, and then 30 minutes later, the other one's got to go potty, you know? So I do not miss that. Those are the little things that, you know, you have to think of when you travel by See, yourself with children. Well, but it was still fun. I don't have children yet, but I did go on a family vacation to Jamaica last month with 17 <gasps> of my family members. Woo! So I'll just say, it, it, the first two days, it was like, all right, yeah. But by the time we got to day three, I'm like, all right. Do my can, own thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my own thing. Enough of this itinerary because you just need you need a break. Yeah. Seventeen yes. people, ages. The youngest was five. The oldest, like seventy something. It was just. It, it was, was a lot of it family. Was a lot of people. Well, everyone wants to do something different. Think yes. about even picking a restaurant with your friend. You're like, no, I don't want to go there. I'm yeah. Gonna move for yeah. that. Yeah. And then you got to factor in. Oh, those that's videos. a lot. Somebody got to put the law down. This is what <laughs> we're doing. Uh, but that is awesome that you got to see your family. And, and you know, I was happy to see them. Yeah. I told you the first two to three days was, was great. great. That's yeah. great. But then after that, I'm like, all right, Seattle. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to come back. We had a rule that, like, they could go and do their own, because it was a cruise, where are they going to go? Yeah. You could yeah. go do your own thing during the day, but we eat dinner together. That's so nice. that way we okay. had a little bit of family time, okay. but... Okay. She's got the yeah, teenagers now. Nice. Yeah, I'm like, right. I can't. Yeah, um, no, so but great. the importance it's of family. Life changing. It's just amazing. It is. I love family. Don't I just take it for granted. That. Yeah? Yeah, I, I, well... I'll plug my nonprofit real quick. Stronger yeah. families, we keep families together. So we were just having a conversation about how important it is mm -hmm. to take those moments with your family and value that time. Right, when you see is, your nonprofit yeah. with helping families, they're yeah. really, you know, you see some of the hardest parts. Right. So we're very, very lucky. It yes, is true. we are. Right. Yeah. Yep. We know apparently we're not lucky because uh, online, <laughs> a study by Casino.org, very reputable source, yes, ladies and gentlemen, names Seattle the number two cringiest city on social media. No. Hmm. Some of the things are, you know, captioning cliche quotes like good vibes only, check, we do that. Lip syncing songs and stories, never seen that. I, I don't see that. Recreating TikTok dances, I've never seen that. Gym selfies, yeah, maybe. Uh, but this, Get ready with me videos, Who? what, no, unless you're putting on hiking boots. This is not Seattle. Have you been to Seattle? See, this is like LA, I feel like. This is not Seattle. Seattle. LA but, was number one. Okay. Okay. But, All right. Obviously. I will say there are a lot of transplants in Seattle. That a lot true. of influencers here now. So maybe, so it's not like traditional Seattle, but like transplant Seattle, which is given the rest of Seattle, you know, the good has have to suffer with the bad. That's kind of how it goes. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know how the teachers, talking. I'm doing like the first day of school, uh, one bad apple spoils the whole bunch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we did see Twisters together because that's yes, like a that's thing for us. Yeah. Um, and a, it was okay. I mean, I loved it, but it I... Was it was fun. We like fun. the OG. We're, yeah, we're like original. Helen Hunt big fans. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, yeah. I want to get into it. Because what we're yeah. going to talk about right now is it ends with us. We talked about this a little bit last week on Hot Topics, and I kind of shared my thoughts about, you know, kind of how it's not just so much the movie, but how things were handled afterwards. Mm. I have a lot of thoughts on this. Okay, so anyway... <laughs> So, but let's just talk about what it did. It made 10 times the budget since it debuted two weeks ago. 10 times yeah, its budget. Yeah, I think it was a surprise hit. Yeah, and then, you know, so there's that. But some say the domestic violence subject matter was glossed <sighs> over in the film's marketing, yep. which was my issue with yeah. her that I spoke to last week, is that, like, listen, if you're going to play a domestic violence survivor, you should be kind of schooled when you're having these interviews to promote the movie when someone asks, you know, what was it like or what do you say? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's your right. job to counsel people, but you know, give a resource. Right. You there, know? there were so many misses for me in this movie. I mean, Blake Lively's charismatic on screen, 
but it did not at all capture the trauma that yeah. a true domestic abuse uh, violence victim would be feeling. She's not going to greet him and come sit in the bed with me at the end, and I'm going to be so wonderful mm -hmm. to you. A, that's like people are afraid of their abuser, so that's not at all accurate. Even if they're in love with them, they still have that fear. Second of all, I thought it sent the wrong message completely at the end because, yes, while it's nice to have that empathy and forgiveness and kindness, this man pushed her down the stairs mm -hmm. and she could have died. Mm -hmm. Why are we not promoting getting protection from abuse orders and reporting oh. it to police? Mm -hmm. Like, that is how we need to talk about domestic violence in a real way, not fluffy Hollywood, Blake Lively looks good in every outfit and it's just still so whimsical mm. even after being abused. That's mm -hmm. such a good point. Here, here, I'm gonna raise my I was gonna say lots of that. points. You know I there. get fired up. I, yeah. I haven't seen the movie, but because I knew we were coming on this panel and I knew one of the issues was that it was glossed over in the preview, I will say from looking at the trailer, there was just, a very fast edit of throwing uh -huh. glasses and all that, but I wouldn't have left that trailer thinking I was going to see a movie about domestic violence. And they don't about that show trailer it. That's the it. thing. Like it's a very quick, and then you're like, did that happen? Is or that what, what is I that? Saw? What's going on? Well, they yeah. do. They do. Like that's what kind of annoyed they me. They flash back they, when they finally yeah. flash back and show that it actually happened. I thought that was a really nice move on yeah. the cinematographer's part because it does show that a lot of uh, victims of violence don't really how understand they give grace to the abuse how they don't really yeah. how they see, and then when they finally recognize it. So I did like some of that. Yeah. And I will say, you know, Colleen Hoover, she did a really good job. Like in the book here, like once you get to the back of the book, it has a bunch of resources. Yeah. And it has things. So the the author was very thoughtful about that. Um, so I just wish, you know. I, I do know. like yeah. though that it's opening the conversation. Like if, yeah. if there's any good mm -hmm. that comes from this, it's that maybe some people are seeing like, this is something that happens, right. you're not alone, you it can is. get out of this. Yeah. It is, and people need to understand that sometimes you have to see the ugly to help combat the right. problem. I'd yeah, I wish there would have been a more realist approach. I will say, I'm sorry, oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say, and when you think about movies about such a sensitive topic like domestic violence, there is always more that are being made, so hopefully yeah. people will take the yep. lessons from this one. One thing people wanted was resources locally in each theater, mm -hmm. kind of narrowing down, like, okay, if you are in Seattle and you're experiencing That's this, a great it's like a common, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, it seems right. like it thing would be. to do, right? Well, and as a result of all this, I guess Blake Lively's behavior in the junkets has come Kind of illuminated that maybe she's not always such a nice girl, like maybe a little bit of a mean girl, and a lot more has come out about that. So that's been spreading like wildfire. Speaking of things spreading like wildfire, <laughs> kids with head lice no longer required to be sent home from school according mm. to new guidelines from the CDC. Thanks, CDC. Uh -huh. mm. Apparently they're allowed to finish the day. Now I get it. I get it. You already have lice, you're already at school, just stay there. They don't want to embarrass the kids maybe by sending them home. Mm. However, <laughs> however, please do not get my kid lice because the person next to her has lice and you're keeping the kid at school. We had a lice outbreak in my neighborhood <laughs> over and over and over and over again. It uh -huh. won't stop. Uh -huh. I make my kids spray the anti-lice spray when they go to school every uh -huh. day. Uh -huh. So what is the deal? Have you ever had lice? I have not. That's not that much. Yeah, I know. Lice. I've never, we haven't had that yet. I guess they say, the CDC, that it's more harmful for a kid to miss school than like the amount of school that it might take for them to get it all out of their hair that it is because it's they don't spread disease they're just annoying and itchy and mm. gross so like is the cdc gonna pay for my kid to be right. they gonna come exterminate right. and it's my not home? cheap those no, no it's not yes. i had a friend Ooh. who spent a thousand dollars getting her home cleaned yeah Build the are. CDC. Goodness. Yeah, I love to build the CDC. <laughs> All right. Let's talk cupcakes because he's been sitting here and making me hungry. So uh, recently, <laughs> a, a TikTok video has gone viral. A kindergarten teacher begging parents not to bring cupcakes to school for the kid's birthday. She claims they make too much of a mess. Take a, take a listen. All right, parents, for your child's birthday, I love to celebrate birthdays in my classroom, but I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but please don't bring cupcakes. These make a ginormous mess, and the kids honestly don't eat them that great. They are just a mess. The frosting gets all over, and the kids aren't sure what to do. It's just too much for them, and it's too messy. All right, mm. here, I'm going to teach you something right now, teacher, that you can teach to your kids. This is the perfect way to eat a cupcake. You oh, take the you cupcake. Take you oh, split okay. it in half, oh, what? That's, stick it on the top, what? and you got a cupcake. Uh, you, uh, that Whoa. you are, yeah. And that's not messy. Yeah. Here you go. 
Very All right, you've been schooled. Okay, but I you, don't, you can't ban cupcakes for birthdays. No, you Come can't, on. you can't, you can't. And I mean, it's kindergarten. They're it's gonna, kindergarten. even if they did her other suggestions, like little Debbie cakes, Ice they cream. still are gonna There's gonna be a mess, mess. Yes. anywhere I mean, and everywhere. Let them live, five years old, six I, years old. Let them live. live. Listen, I will say that like <laughs> jewel colored icing though, when it gets crusted on a counter, it's not easy uh, to get off. I'm, just, I agree. I'm not saying it's not yeah. messy, I'm just saying. It's the way you did this but, cupcake, I don't, I. But no regulating sweets. I maybe Isn't I should start make? doing Cupcake that because I, I usually just eat it the you know. But that's not the cutest. <laughs> but it, it it looks it, it does the job. Can do it for you? I got you. Look, Girl, I got you. She's like I don't want to uh, eat that cupcake. I got you. It's okay. I got it. one more time. You <laughs> got my call. You there should you have. You should. <laughs> Look, Chicks, you should have. Oh wow. <laughs> Delicious. Um, all right. Well, I loved hanging out with you girls. This was so oh, much yes. fun. Yes. Please come back. Um, and I will always bring you cupcakes. Uh, but also, hey, thanks for sharing some really important things yeah. today. I really yes. appreciate it. Good discussion. Thank yes. you. Cheers to you all. Cheers. Happy fall. Happy. Happy. Yes. It's not fall. She's like, no, happy fall. It is not fall. Uh -uh. It is not even. All right. Thank you for spending time with us today. You can check our website for more of our content. You can always send us an email to share your thoughts. But most important, don't forget to enjoy your new day. We'll see you next time.